I don't have a hook for this one, but if you want to talk about this and this and these diagrams and why they're cool, I'm here. First, we need to talk about phases. You've got phases of matter, like solid, liquid, and gas, but then you've got phases like oil and water, which are in the same phase of matter, but they don't want to mix with each other. Oil and water are a heterogeneous mixture, where there are multiple components that don't want to be together, so they split and create a phase of oil and a phase of water. Alternatively, vodka would be an example of a solution, a homogeneous mixture of water and ethanol. There are two components, but only one phase. That was water. Some things are two phases at lower temperatures and one phase at higher temperatures. It's all about how energetically favorable something is, and when there's more energy in the system in the form of heat, different things happen. Binary and ternary phase diagrams like these plot these behaviors over ranges of conditions like temperature and composition. But given that I've got this nice chunk of feldspar here, we're going to talk about how those phase diagrams show how it got its tiger stripes or a prothetic texture. Minerals often have ranges of composition, where elements with similar ionic radii and charge swap with each other in the crystal structure. For feldspar, it's the first element in this formula. There can be different amounts of sodium, calcium, or potassium in the structure, which change some of the mineral's properties. The pink stuff in this rock is a potassium-bearing feldspar, and the white stuff is a sodium-bearing feldspar. They're one big feldspar soup at higher temperatures, but once they cool down and hit this line, and solve this on the diagram, they have a falling out and decide they don't like each other very much anymore. That's where they split into their more potassium-rich and more sodium-rich compositions on either side of the line, creating the stripes. They go from being in solution to different phases, so we call the stripes an ex-solution texture. A very similar thing is happening in my pendant, where the layers of feldspar exalt so finely, they warp the light into this beautiful optical effect called adularescence, which is characteristic of moonstone. You know what they say, you can't change a tiger's stripes, unless that tiger is feldspar and you decide to heat it to above 700 celsius to re-dissolve it into a feldspar soup. No!